So one of the many things he feels slighted over, and it is a long list, is the fact that the day the queen died, which was September 8th, 2022, this is a couple months ago, he happened to be in Great Britain. And he's mad that when he texted William, this is after the Oprah interview, after all this stuff, he's in the middle of the Netflix deal, it's about to hit air, a couple months, and his book, he texted uh, his brother, William, to say, how are you getting to Balmoral, where the queen was in Scotland, where, where she was dying? And he didn't get a response. And here's how he described his, how he'd been dissed, sound by 13. I asked my brother, I said, what are your plans? How are you and Kate getting up there? Um, and then a couple of hours later, you know, all of the fam family members that live within the Windsor and Ascot area were jumping on a plane together, a plane with 12, 14, maybe 16 seats. You were not invited on that plane. I was not invited. <laughs> Sophie, whatever could explain him not being invited? Yeah, I mean, don't forget, this was such a historic moment of national mourning. You know, yes, it was a death in their family, but it was also one that was a death that the nation would have to mourn and, and such a historic moment in pretty much all of our lives that have only seen one one, uh, very few people that have seen another so far. So they obviously didn't want Harry and Meghan overshadowing it. This was the moment. This was about the Queen. This was about the country. It was not about Meghan and Harry. And I feel like they're quite angry that they were not able to make it as such. And I think the royal family were very much aware that those two, should they have, you know, been present for a lot of it, a lot of the questions were going to be about, oh, is Meghan at Balmoral? Is Harry not at Balmoral? A lot of the headlines would, for some reason, because you know, they create all this drama, obsess over that, and it shouldn't have been about that. It should have solely been about the Queen and the royal family. I think that's why they're really mad. But of course they weren't going to be fired because they just want to steal headlines. They just want to make attention. And they've offended the entire royal family up until this point and have continued to make the life hell for their grandmother right up until the moment that she passed away. So, of course, they didn't want them on the plane with her. And I actually think a lot of it uh, was about having Meghan come up mm -hmm. to Balmain we remember Kate also stayed home with the kids and did not attend Balmoral and the, the, the conflict was about them not taking Meghan to Balmoral and they, they made it clear do not bring Meghan to Balmoral it will overshadow everything this is about the nation this is about the Queen this is about the country this is not about Meghan and he, they obviously weren't happy about that Can you imagine like they only think about everything through their own lens he doesn't give one thought for what King Charles was going through. This mm -hmm. is his mother, right? And he's about to become king now. Or Prince William. This makes him one step closer. And it's his grandmother with whom he's been very close. And he, unlike Harry, has been servicing the royal family and serving, you know, in her behest for all this time. How might they feel with this traitor sitting on board the plane? Maybe they felt a little uncomfortable being around him after all he done. There's not a thought for anyone else but him. Go ahead. There, well, there never is. And he, like I said, he's changed history here because um, the whole argument was, I think, that they, he wanted to bring Meghan. And that's what caused the time delay. And I think that Kate had stayed at home. Um, I don't believe Camilla w w went either. Um, and she certainly wasn't there at the moment of the death. So, um, you know, as always, Prince Harry keeps thinking about himself. And the whole both of the interviews started about his mum and it was the same thing. He didn't think for a moment about how his brother might feel or about how shocked his father might be in having to give this news. You know, this is about Diana, I mean, not, you know, not Charles's mum, but, um, you know, he he had, he didn't think about any of it. And that's how the two interviews started. So it's carried on through to the Queen, where again, he's not thought about anyone else's thought, uh, feelings except for his own. So yes, Kate stayed and looked after the children. Harry wanted Meghan to come. And of course, both Prince Charles, who was Prince at the time, and Prince William would have been thinking, you know, what are they going to use this for? Is this going to end up in their Netflix documentary or is this going to be part of the book? Like, yes, you know, they. I can understand fully why they didn't want them traveling on the same uh, plane. So it could all be public information about what they're speaking about in their, you know, in the last moments of the Queen's life. Me too. And their instincts were dead on because now we know from his book, he mm -hmm. was writing, he is in here writing about 
all these personal private moments like the fight he had with Prince William who came to his cottage and wound up grabbing him by the collar, breaking his necklace, and he fell over. Now he wants us to feel sorry for him because he fell down and he broke the dog bowl and he refused to fight back. I mean, honestly, this is like, if this is like a fight that warrants mention in a book, when I was growing up with my siblings, my brother, he my, tortured me. My sisters, <laughs> you know, they were older than I was. My God, we threw down way better than this. In fact, my team, my brilliant team came up with a representation of what their fight seemed to look like, not throwing down, nothing like Rocky and Apollo, looked more like Frazier and Niles Crane. I bring you Soundbite 26. It's not a tantrum and I'm not jealous. I'm just fed up! <laughs> I'm fed up with being second all the time. You know, I wanted to be a psychiatrist like mom way before you did, but because you were older, you got there first. You were first to get married. You were first to give dad the grandchild he always wanted. By the time I get around to doing anything, it's all chewed meat. <laughs> you think you're crying about something that we can't change. Oh, you wouldn't change it if you could. You love it. Oh, let it go, Niles. I can't let it go. My nose is rubbed in it every day. <laughs> 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 Back. You're climbing in my crib and jumping on me! You stole my mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Who takes a disagreement like that, private between brothers, elevates it to, you know, in the book to try to make the one side look bad, where once again he knows Prince Williams, he can't defend himself. Is your business still using spreadsheets and emails to manage important sales commission? Mm -mm. Is your support and operation staff stretched thin? Not good. Are your salespeople constantly trying to piece together the puzzle for what they're getting paid for and what is potentially missing from their comp? Well, this is where Clear Comp comes in. ClearComp is a one-stop shop for your business to manage sales commission documentation like commission plan info, product info, and facts. It's basically a sales operations and sales enablement dream platform. ClearComp works seamlessly and securely with your existing software applications for your billing, CRM, HR, you get the picture. Your sales team will perform their best with real-time results and earnings using ClearComp's interactive dashboards. And your operations team will be able to make commission plan adjustments with just a few cl clicks, super easy. So please, get this done already, right? It's time. Modernize your sales organization. Improve your business today by visiting clearcompcomp.com. That's C-L-E-A-R-C-O-M-P.com. Book a demo and tell them I sent you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.